tutulie ili tuendelee na kutia sahihi Soon after taking oath of office, the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto, began actualizing some of his promises as made to the electorate during his campaign period. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the president appointing the six judges left out by his predecessor when he appointed 34 others to serve in the Court of Appeal. And tomorrow, I shall preside over their swearing in so that they can get on with the business of serving the people of Kenya. The judges include Agri Michelule, Jojo Dunga, Weldon Korir, Professor Joel Ngugi, Makori Evans Kiago and Judith Omange. Topiche. In a bid to boost the judiciary's independence, President Ruto announced an increase in its budgetary allocation as well as initiating the setting up of high courts in at least seven counties to aid in dealing with cases. My administration will scale up the budgetary allocation to the judiciary by an additional 3 billion shillings annually for the next five years. These resources will support the bottom-up scaling of justice by increasing the number of small claims courts from the current 25 to 100. The president has also given the National Police Service financial autonomy with Inspector General now the accounting officer. Financial independence of the police will give impetus to the fight against corruption and end the political weaponization of the criminal justice system, an undertaking I made to the people of Kenya. Port operations were also reversed to Mombasa County, a move that the president says will bring back the economic life to the coastal people. This will restore thousands of jobs in the city of Mombasa. To alleviate Kenyans from the high cost of living, the president began by reducing the price of fertilizer to enhance production that will ultimately reduce the cost of food. For the short rains, we have already made arrangements to make 1.4 million bags of fertilizer available at Kenya shillings 3,500 for a 50 kilogram bag down from the current 6,500. On his part, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa reiterated the government's commitment to ensuring the reviving of the economy. We have come to the treasury and the coffers are empty. We have to start from scratch. We ask for people of Kenya to be patient and give us a chance to try to get things working. He however urged Kenyans not to shy from putting the government on check. It is your prayers that will help our president to put up a team and start work from day one to liberate this country economically and put it back to where President Mwai Kebake left us 10 years ago. The two asked Kenyans to embrace each other and put their political differences aside. President William Samoe Ruto is not mincing his words. In his maiden speech, he promises to ensure that the country is united and forges forward towards implementing whatever he promised the country. Philip Ruto K24 from Kasarani, Nairobi.